sit by the hillside. I'm waiting for your call. Summer, winter, fall. You spring up on my mind, the truth. I don't know if it feels right. But for you, I try. And love's a rage and cry. Today's artist of the day, Juanita Jones. Hola, party people. I am back. The head of, our head of the table has returned. We are back with another video. It's been like two weeks. <sighs> Don't ask. I'm trying. It's been a minute, but we're back. Um, we're here to review more people. Uh, you know, this one has been on my shelf for a minute. I've been very excited. I've been waiting for them to drop enough songs for me to review. And finally, it has happened. Your boy... Juanita Jones, who actually just graduated, shout out to, give a round of applause, just graduated Georgia State, you know what I'm saying, unfortunately wasn't able to collab or work with them before they graduated, but hopefully that's still gonna be a possibility, because I, you know, I, they were a, a big on campus, uh, I'm not saying, I'm saying that like they're gone, but they're probably gonna, you know, this, that, and the third, don't worry, uh, first song that they dropped, I believe was called Love Bomb, and I heard, like, clips of it, but I, I purposely stayed away from their music because I wanted to really review, sit down and review their stuff. Um, and finally, we are here. Worked over at MTM, met him a few times. Super cool lad. Super cool guy. Um, yeah, we're here pretty much to review, uh, the three songs he's got out. I'm excited. I'm excited. Uh, thank you guys for supporting the last video. And we hit 300 subscribers. I know the podcast is supposed to be coming that will happen. I promise you that will happen. It's just life is crazy when you try to work in the music industry. And before we dive deep into the music, we have to read his description on Spotify. So if you guys want to check out any of Juanita Jones' music, I'll leave a link down below to his Instagram as well as his link tree. Be sure to go check out all his stuff. He's a super cool dude. And uh, from the clips I've heard, uh, very, very talented. We here, though. We here, though, so let's get into it. Hailing from the vibrant northwest sub suburbs of Chicago, Juanito Jones emerges as a musical force with a story as diverse as their sound. Okay. From the pulsating beats of EDM to the compelling melodies of 18th century romantics, Juanita has crafted a musical journey that is nothing short of dynamic and captivating. Growing up immersed in a rich tapestry of genres, they bring forth a unique blend that reflects their electric influences. This fusion of electronic energy and, classic, and classical allure, classical allure, don't worry, I can read, we got this, divines Juanita's sonic landscape, establishing them as an artist unafraid to break boundaries and explore the uncharted realms of musical expression. I like that. That was great. That was, that was great writing right there. As they continue to evolve, Juanita Jones stands poised to leave an inevitable mark on the music scene, inviting listeners into a world where genres converge and creative, creativity, ugh, creativity knows no limit. But apparently my reading level has a limit. You know what? It's fine. It's fine. We move forward. I don't know about y'all, but I'm excited. I'm excited because I don't know what to expect. You know, we keep we keep it completely unbiased over here. We keep it completely on 100. percent We gonna talk about what we like, what we what we think could be better. But I'm excited. I'm excited. First track is called Love Bomb. Okay, very Euro. Oh, this is so European. Oh yeah, no, you Fastigia would go crazy with this, I ain't gonna lie. If it's cool with your man, I'm gonna ride with you. But you better scream my name when he comes at you. Spicy is like I eat, getting everything for free. Wanna eat the new mommy. Okay, he bugging, he kinda wildin'. Daddy's got your uh I honestly wish that was longer. That was only a minute twenty. That could have that could have really built out into some fun like let me sorry. Great song. Uh, definitely fun. Very, very European. I I didn't remember that he. I do remember he mentioned that he does produce his own stuff. So he did produce it and all that. So ten out of ten for sure. Very experimental. Look at a very EDM Tron like instrumental. It's like that in your like th that in like like a festival like at Ibiza. Like that would probably go insane. It has like a weird like blend of that European style mixed with like the 
the pitched up vocal of like kind of like how Tyler Creator does all has does that weird kind of thing with his voice on certain records. I like it a lot. Yeah, I just wish it was longer. Um, because I think definitely to help it, um, build is that you could just add more and more to the instrumental to help it expand upon, um, the themes. Cause you know, cause he can still keep that constant love bomb, your love bomb. Um, but I think that you could definitely just add more to the production if you want. In my opinion, like what if I would have done? But I like it for what it is. That has a lot of replay value. That's going on the playlist. Next record is called Trophy Boy. Are we about to get like Billie Eilish in this bug? What, what, what happened? Feel myself today. You're feeling comfortable. Tell me what you have. Never mind. Every now and then I got you right where I want to stop inside your head just like your pretty It feels very, yeah. He was the kid with the theater of this shit, bro. I don't know how I feel about the mix on his vocal. I know I should give me like hints of AJR, and I know it should, but it does. This beat is insane. That panning is really cool. No, he do well. Him and Asher Fleming would actually do really cool stuff together. Funny enough. It's like a few, it's like a more flamboyant weekend, more experimental weekend, kinda. It's, it's really, I like it. I'm not mad at it. Alright, you know, mixing this was a nightmare. <laughs> that chorus is really infectious, too. That song's really solid. I like it a lot. I'll probably have to come back to that. Um, for now, I'm putting it on the playlist. We can put that back because because I, I, I do like that. There's a lot of stuff I like about. First of all, the instrumental is very wacky. It's very all over the place. All over the place. Uh, electronic, um, and some aspects of theory. I like it a lot. It's so it's very. Uh, it feels very cinematic. Um, his delivery on on this so song I like a lot. The biggest gripe I'm having is I don't know how I feel about the mix on his vocal. And I mean that just in terms of like, it's all balanced well, it's all fine. I just don't know if I would have made his vocal so dry. I think due to the effect of how like experimental and how very uh, like, not all over the place, but kind of organ that organized chaos and how um, even the mix on his on his vocals for um, um, for the chorus had like more of like a shine to it or more of like an electronic feel to it. I think he definitely could have leaned into that more on the mixing. I don't know who did the mixing on it. Just 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 me saying that from his perspective. I feel like it felt a little bit too raw or too under processed to the point where it sounded semi out of place or like an imitation of what we were what you were going for at certain points. I think uh the delivery's fine, the flow's fine, I like the breakdown section where he does the pitch vocals and you can hear the panning and you can, like I really I love those aspects. That's just me being nitpicky on like that aspect of it. Like that's what uh like if like we go back, if like I think that would just be uh, that might be just like a particular me kind of thing. But overall, the song's really cool. The song's really dope. Another thing I will say is also like I feel like he could have built it up like more grandiose. I feel like we reached a certain point, and each change, while well, it was like a substantial change, and it, it never felt too impactful. It felt like it was still quite similar than. Um, then the last change prior, and it being wacky did kind of give you that AJR kind of vibe. But I think with this with AJR is that they really break down some of their stuff. And granted, people have mixed views on AJR. I think there's a lot uh, of, of, of terrible things in the discography, <laughs> but that's just me. Even though I like them. And the final song we will listen to is called Downtown 2.0. Very 80s too. I didn't mention, need to mention that very 80s. Felt very like 80s tragedy. Yeah. 
This could be like in cyberpunk like type of films. Like I don't know why I see this like in a dark club in like a John Wick, Wick in the John Wick movie. <laughs> Credit score gave me back karma's funny. Oh yeah, we in Sega Genesis now, baby. <laughs> we cooking. We cooking. <laughs> Beat me up, Scott. Uh, it's too... I need, like, like, compilations made to this type of song. Like, some, like, cool Minecraft edits. This would be crazy. That's hard. First half, I was very, very out. But I like it. I like where it went. I like... Uh, again, very experimental, very changing instrumentals here, and I'm I'm loving it. I'm loving it. That's just that's my type of style of production. That's just like, like I like all types of music, but I'm a sucker for stuff that is like feels like I just entered a different realm. A lot of the things I like about that song uh, are kind of similar to the things I like about the others, it's just in terms of like again structure and not being afraid to be out outside the box. I think the messy auto tune is really really cool. I think the synth breakdowns of it is really dope dope it gives a very dystopian feel i like the kind of rise and fall i think it's a lot more stronger a lot stronger uh in this song than it was in trophy boy personally i think the rise and falls and the dynamics felt very like exaggerated and you actually could hear and feel as, as an audible and noticeable difference everything is just done really tightly and i like it i like it a lot um, and i think it's the same again the trend that i see across all three songs but i really think it's one of the tighter songs i've heard today all right, that was Juanita Jones, producer, songwriter, artist extraordinaire. How am I feeling about him overall? I really like his stuff. I think it's dope. I think it's really, really cool. I really am enjoying everything I've heard. I'm enjoying the 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 very unique style, very European influence EDM, and like in that Tron, like electronic, very electronic. Um, cyberpunk aesthetic dystopian stuff like it feels very dark yet colorful at the same time like i'm stupid so keep this in mind my, my analogies i'm stupid like i picture like this if you put like his movie like a mario kart movie like a mario kart like level it'd be like bowser city like, or like like a very electronic version of a rainbow road like it's really really it feels like a an electronic adventure uh i think its ability to blend it like kind of that like very theater type of uh, vocal passages and kind of very uh, not too over the top but you can tell but a very kind of um, cinematic kind of way of how he delivers certain things mixed with like the wacky um, experimenting of like how he pitches his vocals the audio effects and blending that he's really building out a story and, and making every song not just a song and experience I definitely want to hear more I'm excited to see where he goes next especially now that he graduated GSU it's very interested to see with all the time he's got in his hands what he does next if I was to give him a rating out of 10 uh, I'm feeling probably a strong 7 to a light 8 uh, out of 10. Really a lot of fun stuff here. If you guys want to check out all of their music in, in its entirety, I'll leave a link down below again to all his music in general and his Instagram. Be sure to go support him. Go give him a follow. Super talented, super awesome lad. While you're down there, like, comment, subscribe. Share this video. Helps us grow. Uh, road to 400 subscribers, people. We finally made it to 300. Road to 400 now because the goal was 1,000. Because once you get 1,000, we start making the money out. Today's artist of the day is Juanita Jones. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Be sure to check out my mind music. More stuff coming soon. Be, be on the look for the Instagram. Link down below is there as well. Today's artist of the day is Juanita Jones. Stay safe. Take care of yourselves. I love you. Oh, my.